ladies and gentlemen, I think we can go ahead and get started today. We're going to be working today with Becca Womack, our event manager for H2O Expo, and Bill O'Connell, who did all our sessions set up and getting our session speakers organized for the event, and Chris Wilson, our web development person. And Chris is going to go ahead and lead off on this event and uh, I'll hand it off to him. All right, good afternoon everybody. I uh, just want to say welcome to everyone. Uh, you should be looking at the H2O Expo website and hopefully we're going to give you a little uh, tour around some of our online locations during this presentation. Uh, we're really excited to give everyone sort of a preview of what's going on at H2O Expo, some of the things you can expect, some of the new uh, frills, some of the new bells and whistles that we're offering this year. Um, I want to take just a second. It looks like we've got a pretty full room. I want to remind everyone if they have any questions, there uh, should be a chat box over on the right-hand side towards the bottom. There's a chat box or a Q&A box if you have any questions during the presentation. You can submit those, and uh, we can try and get to those towards the end. Uh, also, uh, if at any point in time uh, you lose the audio connection, uh, you should be able to use your dial-in number. Uh, that should uh, be part of your email, and you should also be able to see it on one of the tabs uh, in your WebEx box. And you can, uh, you can dial back in pretty quickly and usually not miss anything. Or, as always, we're recording this, and you can go back and uh, check the recording. So I think we're going to start up, first of all, with uh, just the registration process. And we're uh, offering something special this year. You can see it right at the top here on the Expo website. And that is a, a special weekly drawing for a free H2O Expo uh, polo shirt. That drawing is going to be conducted every Wednesday at around noon uh, up until September 20th, or I'm sorry, September 14th. And every registrant for 2011 H2O Expo is automatically entered in that drawing. And we're really excited about giving that away. We think it's generating a lot of interest. Uh, the easiest way to begin your registration process, we've got the website sort of divided into two pieces for attendees and for our exhibitors. Um, if you go into Attend Expo, you get a real big Register Now button right at the top. And that will take you immediately to uh, the online registration process. And again, once you register, you're automatically entered for our shirt drawing. Uh, another item of interest I'm going to point you to, because uh, I'm about to turn over uh, this part of the presentation to Bill O'Connell. He helped line out a lot of speakers for us. Uh, if you go to the agenda item on the website, uh, this is the first year we're offering an interactive online agenda setup. And the reason that we're offering it is because we, uh, we sort of did some polling and we kept getting two different answers on what an attendee expected in an agenda. Some people uh, wanted an agenda that just went soup to nuts you know, from the second the door opened to the second the door closed every day. And uh, other attendees wanted their uh, agenda items separate. They wanted to be able to focus on certain items. And so we developed this interactive agenda. And uh, as you can see, we've got some color coding over here on the right side. These are the educational tracks that we're offering for all the education sections. As you scroll down, you'll be able to see the dates, these are the registration hours, the exhibit hall hours, you'll be able to see the educational sessions, and if you want, you can go through and you can limit that. For example, if I just want to look at the education sessions, that's really what I'm interested in. I can narrow it down so that's all that we're looking at. I can also use this drop-down menu. Uh, if, uh, let's see, wastewater operations is my particular interest. I can focus on that. Now I'm looking at all of our wastewater operations educational session material. And of course I can always spread it back out 
if there's a particular subject that I want to search for, I can always um, use this title search option right here. So for example, uh, let's look at motivation. Managing, driving, and motivating employees. That's going to be hosted by John Berry from USA Blue Book, one of our sponsors, and he's going to focus on uh, sort of getting a, a good look at your employees, helping them, motivating them, and things other than pay that you can do for them. Um, down here at the bottom, these are sort of the last options of the interactive agenda. We, uh, we are co-locating with IQ, and so there are some equipment and safety focused IQ sessions. Those we've marked all in red because a lot of those sessions require an additional charge to attend. You can look at those. And of course, you can always just narrow things down to the NRWA H2O Expo events. And we're really excited about uh, the level of interactivity and the level of function this is agenda items given. Uh, giving us, I encourage everybody to go and take a look at the agenda and just take a look at all the offerings. And uh, I'm going to turn things over now to Bill. I, I hope he's going to give you some insights on uh, some of the, the real exciting speakers that are going to be available. Well, thanks, Chris. Um, and once again, thanks for uh, tuning in to our, our uh, presentation here. Um, the, uh, the first part I want to talk about are some of the speakers that we have coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and also I want to remind everybody that, that whenever you're dealing with speakers and sessions, that we are, it's a dynamic process. Uh, particularly this year, our rocks have always been the USDA and the EPA people because once they said they'd come, they were, they were, they were solid on their attendance. Unfortunately, this year with budget turmoil everywhere, uh, we are doing some moving around on who's going to be available and who's going to be there. So, don't be surprised if some of the names actually change even, even this close to the, the actual date of the conference. Uh, so on, on, uh, although we start our sessions in the afternoon of uh, Tuesday, um, our, our main speakers are going to be speaking starting Wednesday morning, October 5th. And we've invited uh, Secretary of Agriculture, Tom Vilsack, uh, and we haven't heard that. But we have Jonathan Adelstein, Administrator of Rural Utility Services, we have John Padalino, who's a special assistant uh, for the administrator. And we have Jackie Ponte Lazaric, who's the assistant administrator for water and environmental programs for RUS. And uh, they'll be doing a workforce and RUS uh, presentation in the beginning morning. Uh, finally, on Thursday, we have the EPA priorities, uh, national and regional priority session. And uh, we've just been, uh, we just found out that Ann Codrington, the uh, acting director for the Drinking Water Protection Division will be doing that session. So we're really excited about having, having uh, her available and having these people take the time out of their schedules to get this information out to us at the, uh, at the conference. Uh, we have a whole list of uh, speakers, and I don't want to single anybody out because I don't, wanna, um, I don't want to inadvertently snub somebody. And so with that, I think I'm going to leave it there, and I'm going to turn it over to Becca. It's got some information on um, shuttle, or is it Brad for texting? Here, I'll, I'm going to interrupt you here for a second, Bill, because you brought up the, the changing schedule, and that's something we've had to deal with every single year, uh, and we're trying to get uh, changes implemented uh, on our online agenda, but there's a chance that there's going to be changes that are happening during the conference um, because we have sometimes large groups. Uh, that are going to attend the class and the room that we have them in isn't big enough. Sometimes there's emergencies. And one of the things that we are offering for the first time this year, everyone should see uh, sort of the update on the screen now. We're offering text message updates during the conference. Um, all you have to do to sign up is to text the keyword WATER to the number 24587 and you will be signed up in a list uh, so that there's any changes during class schedules, any schedule changes, uh, speaker changes, any information like that, and you will get a text update uh, so that you can be up to the minute.